and what we have before you is the Hulk from the Avengers Age of Ultron man it looks massive right here right now I'm hoping it's the best Hulk figure ever my personal best Hulk figure ever that was never made would be a uh, Bill Bixley slash Lou Ferrigno Hulk but I guess the licensing is all over the place and a bunch of permission I'm thinking just to get it done but that's a figure that deserves to be made. Anyway, this is what I'm settling for, yes. I'm settling for a Mark Ruffalo Hulk. I find Mark Ruffalo a very stoic actor. I'm not sure why people think he's a good actor. Maybe he's done some good roles. But at least what I've seen him in, I don't think he's that good in the Hulk, man. You know? Maybe he's done some roles I just haven't seen. Movies that I will never watch. You know, Brokeback Mountain, for example. A movie I'll never watch. Just ain't my thing. Uh, so you see it's a Hulk there and then you have another magnificent picture. These boxes are really nice though. They're been foil. Recent figure art boxes from like movies have been all foil. So they're really nicely done. If you collect cards in the 90s, it's like foil edition cards and it looks like that. So it looks really nice. And the box you see the, the, the poses I guess. You see the musculature. Posability. Well we'll see if it has posability. Let's check it out right now. Hopefully it delivers anyway. That's the box. Let's take a look what's inside. This is the background. I was like looking at the backgrounds. The green looks really nice, you know. I always like these fake arts, cardboard backgrounds. I, mean, I like displaying stuff uh, sometimes and I find the background looks really nice. Maybe I'll try to display with a green background somewhere. And this is it outside the tree. It's a really heavy figure, man. Really heavy, massive figure. So it comes with left and right hands, like I guess gripping hands. And it comes with an uh, angry face and a regular... Uh, face let's take this thing open all right so this is it in the tray let me pull off you guys wow let's take a look at the accessories actually the paint job looks really nice man this this face up i might uh, darn i dropped the tan this is a really nice face sculpt it looks a little bit like a rough floor. I, I I mean no, I see the I see the um the CGI Hulk in there. I don't see the Ruffalo in there too much, but it does look like the CGI Hulk doesn't make sense. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. It's definitely the CGI Hulk from the movie, but I don't see Ruffalo's face in the CGI Hulk. At least in some scenes. So this is to me looks fairly accurate. Hair is well done. The mouth is really nice. I think the eyes look blue. I thought they were supposed to be green, but they look blue here, at least to me. Maybe it is green. I just can't see it. Oh, damn. Focus, camera. Focus, 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 focus. There we go. So everything is really well done. It's had really well painted. Just straight black. Maybe there's some blue in there. But it looks really nice. And again, it has two pairs of gripping hands, one for each side. I just pull this one up to show you guys the. Um, the paint job is really nice. I see different greens. I see like some green washes in there and light green and the nails are really well done, like a dark green. Everything's so well done. Feels really nice. So let's see the figure now. Let's get to this bad boy here. This is all it's cracked up to be. Let's find out. Let's find out. So comes loaded with some plastic to protect the joints from rubbing. So uh, pull that out. Pull that out. And there's one here. How do you get this one out? Uh, it's the ball. Oops, broke the plastic. There we go. And there's one more plastic here, I think. There we go. So the plastic aside. Wow. It smells really nice. It looks really great. But right off the bat, see like if it goes back too far, there's some gapage issues. Just don't do it that far. It looks really looks really nice, you know. Maybe there's no better way to handle it, I'm not sure. Uh yeah. Wow, you see the Marvel sign. There's very faint though, but there's the There you go. So there's some gapage issues, man. I just wish they would probably burn the scope up a little bit that would taking care of it. But nothing too bad where you can't hide with articulation. Yeah, okay, so let's get the articulation right now. The head does, doesn't look up that far, actually. It kind of stops right there. It looks down really far, really far. Wow, nice. 
Um, well, you know, if I can take the paint is really nice. I mean, I show you the hands. It's basically extended throughout the body where the paint is really well done. Really, really, really well done. The green shading works really nice. Man, it does make me wish for a Lou Frigna Hulk though. <laughs> All right, so you saw the head does look down really far. It touches the uh, breastplate there. That's fine. Um, the arm, hmm, it reminds me of like the old school, like if you have the Sinister Six Spider-Man, has a type of arm that breaks away from this uh, opening handle, it has a big cavity there. That kind of sucks, you know. Uh, so you maybe have to do it only like that. I don't know if this comes up. Yeah, this doesn't come up here. So that's kind of a major downer. So the arm kind of has to stay there. But you can almost like pose it. And let's see. Let's see. And hold that there. And you have to tilt it to hide the, the joint. But I guess that's how they wanted to do it. Whether I agree with it, not really. I kind of wish they would handle this joint better. So that's a slight downer there. Um, the arm does do a 360 around. It does rotate slightly at the upper shoulder. It does have a butterfly drone, which gives you extra, extra posability. Not that much, but still is always appreciated. Um, the elbow joint, it everything's tight, sorry. It, it's double jointed, so it gives you about 90 degrees. Single joint will give you a little less than 90 degrees, so this is appreciated. You know, not much you can do with the sculpt, you know, the muscles. So that's really nice. You see the back here, the butterfly there. The muscles are really nicely done, man. This is how you do naturalistic looking muscles, or naturalistic means. And bring the shoulder forward. It does rotate the wrist, and the wrist, yeah, the wrist works really nicely. The wrist, it goes in and out and around. So the wrists work really well. And let's see, how do we do this? This is for the right hand. So let's pull out the wrist for the right hand. You just gotta hope I'm doing this properly. There you go, pull it out like that, and you just plug it in. Always be careful to figure out so you don't want these things to break. <laughs> Pricey. Uh, let's change the head by that. So that's the head there. This is the head he has on currently. Pop it right off. Really tiny joint, surprisingly. <laughs> but uh, I don't hear it plugged in there, but it's, I guess it's in there. I don't hear it plugged in, no, but uh, I'll go with it. As, so that's what it looks like. So yeah, it doesn't really look like the Ruffle Hulk, unfortunately. It looks like he's a crying baby. <laughs> you know. Okay, all right, guys. So, so far, everything's going well, good. I just don't like that too much. You know, this gapage there. Um, you may have to play around with it, like do it like that, for example, to hide the gapage. All right. So the diaphragm, I'll show you guys. It, it goes up really far, but it kind of leaves a big gap there. So you may have to do it like that. So it still works appropriately goes for really far that's really nice even though there's a gapage there i guess if you do it like this you can't see the gap in the back but the gapage is still there uh it rotates by the diaphragm yes and tilt side to side so i love tilt side to side and it has a waist joint excellent job the leg kicks out uh, far enough it's about 45 degrees try and get a little bit more you can so it's like 45 degrees which works fine i think that's really fine for the hulk you know, you can get him, uh, hopefully you get a sitting pose if you need be. <laughs> so the leg does go out uh, nicely to the side. It does have a thigh rotation. Double joiny, really nicely done. Everything looks really well. The sculpt work in the pants is excellent. Like sculpt work, sculpt work, sculpt work. And here is uh, the foot. It tilts side to side. It goes around. Really nice ankle pivot. It goes up really far and down really far and it has a toe joint let's see the toe goes up but it doesn't go down yeah so is this the best Hulk figure yes best Hulk figure ever yes absolutely can it be done better yes I don't like the gapping in the arm um is there anything else I don't like no, oh, it's just the gap in the arms, a little extreme. The paint job's perfect. The face is perfect, even though this doesn't look too much like Ruffalo, it's still a perfect face sculpt. The hands are perfectly done. The legs are nice. The toe joint's really nice to have. Even the bottom of the foot looks really nice. All sculpt work here, really nice. Excellent job. I give this figure a 9 out of 10. Only thing that, again, prevents me from getting a full 10 
would be really be the shoulders when you bring it out to the side there's some gapage when you um, do some articulation with the diaphragm joint but it can be hidden depending on what angle you're on but still there's still something to note the legs kick a little bit more 45 degrees which is fine if it was another character it would be bad but it's the hulk so that's excellent guys all in all this figure again i would give it a nine you can lead towards a 9.5 look past those things um is it a perfect figure? no so it's not a 10 but it's really damn close and it's the best hulk figure we'll get for a very long time uh, until maybe there's a hulk movie or avengers 3 maybe so um excellent figure i highly recommend a 9 out of 10 i could give it a 9.5 if you guys uh, can look past those issues i just told you thumbs up for me must get peace i'm out of here